Welcome to my reaction to Dairy Girls, Season 1, Episode 1. This is part of my Should I Watch This series, where I look at various pilot episodes and decide bingeable or off the queue. I first heard of this show on The Great British Bake Off when they came and did a guest episode. I knew nothing about Dairy Girls, I still don't really. But the actors are a lot of fun, so if they're half as cool in their character mode, this is gonna be awesome. Remember, this is not a market substitute. Please support the original. All I really want is to be simply left alone. Same. Is that my diary? <laughs> then Wayne shouldn't have to take the bus to school. You should be driving them. Oh my! It's Sir Barristan Selmy, I think, from Game of Thrones. This is so weird seeing him in this context. Why don't you just leave my Mary alone? Because we've been married for 17 years, Joe. We have two children. This is an intense family. Okay, just act normal. No way! Oh, they've got the awkward teenagers down perfectly. Oh, he's going to our school. But he's a fella. Nobody move. You better do as I say, or... Or what? Or there'll be consequences. We'll beat you up. <gasps> Wonderful. <laughs> How long does this fast last? 24 hours. So I still have... 23. Almost 23 hours to go. I'm guessing this is set in the 90s or something. Interesting. Part of my role as prefect is welcoming the first year students. And it's come to my attention that there was some sort of an incident on the bus this morning. So she's basically the... Percy Weasley of this series, I'm gathering. I think I'll just have to mull it over. Actually, mull this over. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, now you've done it. I'd like to introduce James McGuire. Show yourself, please, James. Oh, poor James. He was due to start a Christian Brother Boys, but there were serious concerns for his safety because, well, unfortunately, James happens to be English. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Marlon and the wee English fella. Thank you. The wee English <laughs> fella. <laughs> it wasn't bullying. You're probably getting detention. We're very sorry, very Tina. Sorry, Tina. Sorry, sorry, Tina. Sorry. And Tina, do you accept their apology? No. Do I have to accept their apology, sister? I love Tina. Better not have brought my diary to school. I have to. I'm doing my book report on it. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, no, now the sister's going to read it. Give that here. Fuck, sister. No. She's totally going to use it. Oh, I've known, I've known sisters like this. They're usually in their 90s and they're just like, they will do whatever. And they're awesome. Stop it! That's English for you fucking savages. Sweet suffering, Jehovah. Can you get detention from detention? Sure, the wee robots do all the work. Oh, killing nuns now, is it? Nothing about this makes sense. The woman was almost 98 years of age. She had a heart attack. With tolerance and understanding, violence is never the answer. <laughs> okay, that was wild. The main takeaway for me, I think, was the energy. This was so intense from beginning to end. All the characters are super eccentric and very Irish. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. It was borderline a little too crude for my taste, however, Overall, it was so fantastic that I'm willing to just kind of forgive that part. And it wasn't a whole lot of the episode. I can see if you're really tired and you need just a quick pick-me-up that you can just laugh at and it's silly and fun, this is a great show for that. Just put an episode on and relax. I will note that I'm used to this level of accent, so it was no problem. But I have heard from other people that they struggle with the more regional UK accents. So you might want to turn the subtitles on if you're not used to it. Great show. I'd recommend it. And the winner is... Sersha. <laughs> For someone who's never baked before, coming into the tent to do what she's done, fantastic job. <laughs>